they're a well-coached team, and, and you look back at the end of last year, we'll have played them after this week in six out of our last ten games. So I think we certainly know each other. Um, they, they, they play very well defensively. They're very structured. Um, their goaltender, who finished the year last year, is back, and he was outstanding against us in the playoffs. Uh, they only gave up five goals last weekend in St. Cloud. It's their home opener. I know they'll be excited to play. They've got a influx of, of new uh, players, and uh, I think they feel a little more talented than what they were a year ago in our first challenge. It's our first road trip. So how are some of the young guys? It's, it's easy to play at home when you're on crowd, and now how are you going to react the first time on the road? That's what I'm looking forward to seeing this weekend. When you look at uh, last weekend, all four lines scored goals. Both power plays scored a goal. Uh, Adam played very well in the net, so there was a lot of positives to our game last weekend, but you know, they don't crown any champions after the first week. We have a long ways to go. We have a lot more to prove as a team, number one being consistency. I think we did show that uh, you know we, we don't have to hide anybody in our lineup. We can just play who, who we want to play. Um, I do think we have the ability to make some more plays a little bit deeper into our lineup. Uh, if we play fast, if we protect the puck, I think we have the makings of being a, a pretty good team. But you know, like anybody, if you start to get careless with it, it slows your game down, and then you're defending in your own end. And you know, we've got work to do on our specialty teams. We, we gave up two power play goals against UNH on Saturday. And our power power play was good on our entries, but we didn't do anything inside the zone. You know, UNH is a good penalty kill team, so a lot to work on and a lot to prove. On. It's hard to tell. Like we haven't really obviously played them yet, but they seem to play the same type of style. You know, chip and chase, run and gun. They're hard to play against. So you know, we need to go out, be ready to play against them. We know their style already, so um, just stick to goal for hockey and uh, get after it. It's really exciting. Um, it's good to you know be able to see my family. My family flies up there. Obviously, my dad doesn't, but um, other members of my family, and then. Uh, my grandpa gets to come down and stuff, so it's a good family atmosphere up there. It's hard to get everyone down here, so um, it'll be good to see everyone play my last weekend or so against the Beavers. Only two games, so you need to carry that into this week. And uh, playing with Kyle Rao and Hudson Fashing also helps me a lot. Fashing's a big guy who can play down low, but he also has skills uh, as a skilled forward. He's fast, he's, he's big, uh, and Rao, Rao does all the dirty work, plus he has a skill, so it's definitely fun playing with him. That's just what Wilcox does. He's uh, He's always making those big time saves, so he bailed us out there. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think as a team, uh, just getting two wins on the weekend's uh, pretty big. So, and hopefully we carry that into this week versus Bemidji.